Hello fellow grower, I'm back again and welcome to my channel, The Late Grower. Now, uh, it's been raining for a few days now in Manila and the sun has been hiding in the clouds for, uh, what, uh, at least three days now. And uh, in my last video, I shared with you how I recondition my uh, soil and that is by exposing my uh, used soil to the heat of the sun for uh, a few days. But uh, right now, since uh, it's raining and the sun is uh, hiding behind the clouds, uh, I decided to sterilize my uh, soil, especially those that uh, have not yet been exposed to uh, the sun. And uh, the way I sterilize my used uh, soil is by boiling them. Okay, I have here two uh, cans of uh, boiled soil. Okay, I uh, let them boil for, uh, let it boil for uh, at least five minutes, five to ten minutes. And uh, it has a funny smell, uh, similar to that of uh, boiling peanuts. When it is already boiling, you can smell that uh, you're like boiling peanuts. No? So, by boiling your soil, sterilizing it, uh, you will kill all uh, pathogens, uh, insect eggs, and uh, what have you that are in the soil that may cause disease uh, to your plants okay so this is one effective way of sterilizing your soil now, after sterilizing the soil let it cool for uh, a few hours and uh, after that you can uh, now amend the soil remember that uh, when you boil the soil like this it has zero nutrients already okay so uh, this is the point where you have to add uh, more of your uh, amendment. And that, that amendment can be compost, vermicast, or uh, any other amendment that uh, you have in your uh, possession or something that you can uh, have. Uh, example, in uh, Western countries like the U.S., Canada, Australia, they use bone meal, you know, fish meal, blood meal. Now, any kind of amendment that is... Uh, low in uh, NPK, low in nitrogen, phosphorus, and uh, potassium, and uh, also contains the essential micronutrients such as uh, what the copper, zinc, uh, manganese, magnesium, no, uh, calcium, all of those things. The amendment must contain all of those because this boiled soil, sterilized soil, now has zero nutrients in it. It, it has been killed. Uh, including the good bacteria so uh, maybe in amending this I'd be adding 50-50 50, 50, 50 uh, vermicast and uh, 50 of this uh, sterilized uh, soil now other growers what they do in sterilizing the soil is just by just pouring boil, boiling water on the soil now that is also a good approach nothing wrong about it only that uh, if you have a used soil which you think is uh, disease laden or that it caused the uh, disease uh, on your plants it would be better to just uh, boil the soil in this case the soil has been drenched in uh, rainwater so I just uh, boiled it and uh, you can see it is still smoking huh? okay This one also, see it's still uh, smoking. I boiled this for uh, about uh, 10 minutes. Okay, so after sterilizing your soil, the next thing that you have to do is to make sure that you put a lot of uh, needed amendments uh, to replenish the lost uh, nutrients of uh, your soil. Okay, so this is a short video, just would like to share with you how to sterilize uh, your soil. Others, what they do is to uh, bake the soil. That is also okay. Uh, there are also those who uh, uh, cook the soil, just like what they do in uh, cooking fried rice. You know? uh, in my case, I, uh, if the soil is dry, I put some water and uh, let it boil. Okay, so this is it for this particular video. Thank you so much for watching and hope that you have a good day ahead. Bye-bye.